Today we'll be discussing one of the many features within Protege GX, user and card expiry. User and card expiry work hand in hand by monitoring whether a card or credential has or hasn't been used within a particular site for the time period programmed. If a card has not been presented to a reader within that site, the system then disables the card automatically, rendering that card inactive or disabled. In this demonstration, I will be showing you through Protege GX, familiarizing you with where these options are and how these options are now programmed. Once you open your Protege GX software, you can navigate to your users, users configuration bar and look at all of the users currently within the system itself. To the right hand side now, you will notice that there is currently a card last used and modified within the system itself. Now, within a lot of Protege, you have multiple credentials available to you within the system that allow for different building applications or for different users upon different timeframes. What we can do within Protege GX now is actually list a inactivity period per credential that is currently being used. Now in this you will see that you can turn each of the credentials off or on and then decide on how many minutes, hours or days each physical credential uh, will be inactive for. So if we put in here for for instance one minute on each of these options just to show you the physical functionality. Right. After one minute upon saving this person what will happen is it will disable their current credential after one minute of expiry. As you can see with my status page, after trialing these three particular credentials, you will notice that they have been disabled within Protege GX after a period of time. In addition to having the ability to disable a specific credential, you also now have the ability to disable the actual user. So if we navigate to users, users, on the same screen to the right hand side, uh, you will actually see if you scroll down that there is a user disable or deletion option per user. In here we can either select it to be switched on, uh, or if you leave it deselected as it's currently off, but if it's selected to be switched on. You can also say that if this user has not been active within the last 10 days, that we can actually disable the user entirely from being able to utilize any credential and also the user identification. After that period, if a physical user has had no activity within, let's say, 30 days, you can actually delete that user from the entire system. Now this is very, very good in regards to having a system that imports uh, from a visitor management scenario where you import that user into the system and give them localized access for a couple of hours or even that day. But once they have physically left, um, you don't know if that user has actually been deleted from within Protege GX. So in this option, you could go through with all of your visitor management side of things and delete those users out to keep your databases nice and clean. In the last part of this video, I'm going to also show you not only can you delete individual cards or disable individual cards after a very short period of time or any particular time that you would like to select, you can also disable or delete the particular user after a period of time. Or if you're building a new site or you would like to implement this across your entire system as of now, if you navigate to sites default, you will notice that you can actually disable a user card after a period of inactivity. By selecting the disabled active user card and selecting a particular day or time, you can do this via minutes, hours, days, weeks, months or years, um, so pretty much any time frame that you wish, it will disable that inactive card. You also have the opportunity to disable the actual user. And the same scenario goes here, that if there is no user activity within the physical system, you can then say either in days, minutes, hours, weeks, months, pretty much any time frame that you wish, you can say, look, after three months, if this has had no active user records within the entire system, we will well physically disable them. Likewise, across the entire site, you could then say, look, if this user has been inactive for a period of six months, we actually want to delete them from the entire system to clean up the entire database. 
So once again, once you've chosen this under the entire site, this will set the defaults for every single user across the entire site. You can still navigate to each individual user and set these times and days to suit any functionality of how you're wanting that to operate. 